our top story tonight, the ongoing impacts of snow and ice. You know, overnight, a blanket of white covered parts of East Tennessee, but it also covered roads with ice and it brought the temperatures into the 20s. And one of the areas that got hit the hardest with this round of snow was up in Campbell County. WATE 6 on your side reporter Lexi Spivak was out there all morning long. Yeah, she spoke with crews as they worked to keep people safe and one couple as they made their way further south. We haven't noticed a lot of snow tires here. And I just said to my wife, I said, I should have brought your car because it had the snow tires on. Mike Chapman and his wife started up in Ontario and are working their way to Florida for vacation. And even though he's used to this type of weather since he's a truck driver in Canada, the snow still slowed them down. We didn't expect this. We had dry roads to Cincinnati last night and then we hit a wall of snow in Lexington and she made me pull over. They say they'd rather play it safe than be sorry. That's where the road crews in Campbell County come in, made up of 16 snow plows for all 700 miles of coverage. Basically work around rain o'clock last night. When the snow starts, we start plowing the snow and we do not stop. Road Superintendent Ron Dilbeck says they've been prepping for this system for the past week. He also says it was this morning's second band of snow that put them behind. We had a lot of the main roads clear last night, and the second band came through this morning, and it covered everything back up. So we've, we've had to start all over this morning. Getting hit back-to-back -back caused some damage. Probably a couple hundred trees last night. We've got crews out getting trees today, and it's, it's a big deal. So as they continue to clean up... Keep it going wide open, not stop. There is some advice for those who think they'll venture out in the cold. Be safe. Uh, if you do have to get out, be cautious. Um, I, w I would try to avoid from going out at all. Slow down, take your time. Slow and steady always wins the race. Reporting in Campbell County, I'm Lexi Spivak for WATE 6 on your side. Lexi, thank you. And the worst of the snow is behind us for now, but it is still cold and ice will probably stick around tonight and tomorrow. And that is why a lot of schools have gone ahead and canceled classes for tomorrow as well. On that list, take a look right here. Blunt County, Anderson County, Loudoun County, and Jefferson County schools. Campbell County schools already announced they are closed through Wednesday, and that is only the start. You can find a full list of closings scrolling for you right now at the bottom of your screen, also over on our website, wate.com.